Hi everybody, it's Mark from Team Stoey here. I thought I'd do a very quick video to answer one of the most asked questions that we get, which is, how do you put it all together? Well, as you can see, this is the Stoey in its folded away form. This cube measures 37 by 39 by 46 centimeters. On the side, you can see that we've got the legs here and these are held in place by pegs. And then in the unit itself, under these little flaps here, are the various pieces, and certainly within the top as well, are the various pieces you need to make your base stoey. And the base stoey, when it's erected, will come at 93 by 72 centimetres. It won't have any light bars or anything like that, uh, but it will have some, uh, a couple of uh, places for you to put your cards and your various meeples and dice, etc. So, without much further ado, let me show you just how quick it is to make a stoey up. So you'll have to forgive me if my head keeps popping out of frame, but I'm sure you'd much rather look at the stoey than at me. The first thing you're gonna do is take these pegs out which hold the legs on either side, and they just slot nicely in place. So there we go. Then we're gonna take everything out of the stoey itself. We have the side table extensions. Two, three, four, and the struts which keep them in place as well. Also underneath here, we have, first of all, the holders uh, for glasses, etc. And then we have oops, there we go, the various bits which you need to uh, hold your chits, etc. together. Uh, and these make it nice and easy. And then we have the box on its own then. And as you can see, the weight has reduced dramatically at that point. So the first thing we're going to do is put the legs on. The easiest way to do this, lay it on one side, slot the legs in on one side, bring it back, and then lay it on the other side. There we go. One goes in there, the other goes in there, and then we just tilt it back, and there we have the stoey all kind of at the height. Now, of course, you don't have to put the legs on. You can leave the legs off and put it on top of a coffee table and create an existing coffee table, uh, an existing table to your coffee table. The next thing we do is just these side bits. We're gonna move these in and there's some little slots underneath that these clip into ever so nicely. There we go. And that creates the initial first kind of uh, part of the playing surface. The next thing we're going to do is take the struts and you can see these little dinosaur struts. They have grooves on either side. You want to make sure that they're grooves. And there are slots on the tape itself and they just slot nicely in there. I say making sure that the groove is constantly is always uh, facing inwards. And then we've got the struts there which are going to support the next bits which are the initial leaves to the table. So let's have a look at that now. The next thing is the leaves to the table. And you can see there are four of these, and these are held in place by magnets. So there are slots at the bottom of these that fit perfectly onto the grooves on the table itself, onto the dinosaur struts. So there's one, there's the other, and they're held in place by little brackets under here. That's one side done. Let's just do the other side. And show you exactly how easy it is. So one goes on here, and the other one goes on this side, just here. And there we have the stoey playing area, and at the moment that is 93 by 72. Now, there are side extensions which will go on either side. They are optional for people, which will give you a 93 by 93 playing area. But we're not done yet. We also have these handy side parts here, which are going to slot onto the table itself. Now there are grooves, and one will go there. And again, these are held together by a metal dowling. There we go, and one will go in there, and suddenly, you have yourself a full stoey playing table. Now, as you can see, it takes no time at all to make the stoey up, and all of that came out of that little box you saw. So everything packs away ever so nicely back down into the crate. And you can see that took, well, once you know what you're doing, 
purely a, a two or three minutes to erect the table and suddenly you have a full-size stoey table now some of you must have had stability it's a very stable table obviously it's on a rug at the moment but it's a very stable table and that's a really important part for us so what we're not doing is we're not compromising on uh, the thickness and the quality of the materials because we need that to make the table stable and that's what you have here so that's everything that you get in the stoey <laughs> now without much further ado shall i put it all away for you let's do that in one fell swoop There we have it. We have a stoey that's been erected and disassembled in, what, less than 10 minutes? And if you know what you're doing, as you can see, putting it away takes just a minute or so. It's really, really, really quick. So, I hope you enjoyed that. There will be a better quality video coming in the near future, but I just wanted to give everybody an overview of exactly how the stoey works. As I say, everything that you've seen here is the base table. Some of the pictures you will see You'll see them with extenders on there, or maybe light bars on there, or the stools, or other parts to the table, or dice rolling trays. Those are all optional extras. This is your base stoey. It can be used for board gaming, it can be used for hobbying as a sewing table. Put it in your camper van, you can take it out into the garden when the weather's good, or on the decking. You can even link two together to create a nice, large playing area. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the stoey. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out the Facebook group. Make sure you join the Facebook group and watch out for Stoey coming to Kickstarter in Q1 2022. Until next time, bye-bye.